Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just filming a uh, baby number three girl haul. I wouldn't say clothing because it's not on clothing necessarily. Some stuff is um, for me and whatnot, but I figured I would show you guys everything I got. I'll try to link as much as I can below, but we will start off. So I have ordered a lot of stuff and um, some people say that I've gone a little bit overboard, but truthfully, I have. And I'm not even gonna lie, I have because I've always wanted a little girl. So now that I'm finally getting my little girl, like I'm splurging quite a bit but you know what's the fun in it it's so fun so I figured I might as well I'm gonna start off with this is I'm not sure what the brand is I think I got it on Amazon but it's just a car seat cover I only had a winter car seat cover for the boys because well they were both born in February so I needed a lighter one and the one I have is like gray with deer on it so I don't really want that for a girl. I'm sure I'll eventually get um, a thicker one because the car seat I got is for like they she should be able to last in it longer because it's an extend to fit kind of one for the carrying car seat that's why I got it. So she should be able to fit in there longer because both boys were out of their car seat by six months and into like a normal car seat or the the forever car seats I guess that's what we have. Anyway so I figured I'll start off with that one and then you get like later on order a winter one. So another thing that I had to buy and I kind of forgot about it until a week or so ago that I don't have any girl blankets which doesn't I mean it's not a huge deal that I didn't have girl blankets but I figured I might as well just get at least a couple girl blankets because most of the blankets I have aren't even gender neutral per se they're more like they are boy blankets they're blue they're boy blankets like yeah so I figured I might as well order a few of them and I believe I'm all on the Amazon. This is a Burt's Bees one. So they are flower prints on this side. And then the back is actually like a cute yellow um, Aztec print. And then this is the Burt's Bees brand. I like it because it is a little bit thicker, but it's not like super super puffy thick I guess so I just ordered two regular blankets and then a muslin swaddle because our muslin swaddles are are kind of neutral I got them from Target so then the prints are neutral on those so I figured I'd only I'd be fine with one and if later on I need to get more then that's fine so this is the muslin swaddle I got. Again, it was from Amazon and it's actually pretty big. So once again, flower print. All of the blankets I got are actually flower print. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is, but I will link it below because I mean, I just bought all this stuff. So it still should be on Amazon. And then the last blanket I got is just a minky blanket and it is once again floral print and the whole blanket is mink like the mink fabric and then this is what the back is so it's a light pink and it's pretty big so I don't know yeah I figured I would just get a couple blankets because like it doesn't seem like a big ordeal but it is nice to have at least a few girly blankets instead of all these like boy blankets and because I've always wanted a girl, so it's like, I might as well just spend some extra money to get some girl items. Because I did the same thing with bibs. I didn't buy a lot of bibs, but I did buy some girl bibs. And then I got rid of a lot of bibs because 
a lot of our bibs were so stained. I don't know if it was from breast milk, from formula. I could not get the stains out. Like I washed them a few times and they just won't come out. So I threw them and I bought more because I guess, I don't know, bibs aren't too expensive. Next item is actually for me. I've never bought one before and I don't know why, but this pregnancy could be my last one. I'm not sure, just because it's a girl, I think I'm okay with having three, but at the same time, I've always wanted four, so I can see the switching. So it probably won't be my last pregnancy, because that's just kind of how I am. But I've always wanted to buy a really cute labor and delivery gown with a matching pillow, like or a matching pillowcase. Always wanted to do it, and I just never have. Well, this time I finally did. It's I got it off of Amazon, um, and it's from Gownies, and it is so cute. So this is the pillowcase. Um, this is the print of it, and it's so cute. And then this is just the gown, so it's the exact same print. I'm not going to like unfold it and stuff because it's just a hospital gown is what it is. But it's really nice because it has the buttons on each side right here so that you can breastfeed. And then it has the buttons all the way down the back so that they can have it open. So I am super excited. Yep, and the, brown, the brand is Gownies. I was going to wait a little bit to order one, but the one I originally wanted off of Amazon was out of stock and... The sizes, they had a small, medium, and then a large, extra large, and I was not, so I, I was, I'm not a small for sure, so I got the large, extra large. It looks really, really big, but it's a labor deliver gown, and I will be, I won't be 40 weeks pregnant, I'll probably go in early, but I will be very pregnant, so, but they were running out of gowns. And the one I wanted, it was unavailable for a while. And this was the only print that I liked that they had left. So I just bit the bullet and I bought it. I think it ended up being $36, I want to say. So I don't know. I guess for me, that didn't seem too bad. For you, it might seem bad because it's not something that you need at all. It's just definitely something that I have always wanted to get. So I did get that, and then I got, let's see, I gotta find the top for this one. So I got this off of Amazon, and honestly, the main reason I got this outfit was because my husband's a farmer, and they have cattle, and it was just so cute. So this is what the top, the, um onesie looks like here I just washed it so it's a little wrinkly. so look at how cute this is so this is the cow head and then these are the little shorts and they are so cute it, it does come with a headband too but my headbands are put away I can actually at the end I'll show you guys my headbands because I am in the nursery right now it's still decorated to what it was when it was Caden's nursery. Even though him and Carson do share a room now, Caden will take his naps in here. Um, I'm just waiting on a shelf. I think that's it. I'd have to double check. I think I'm just waiting on a shelf and then I can finish this nursery to baby girl's nursery. So... And I think I need to get new curtains, but I'll see. Right now we just have like tan curtains in here. The curtains that I got, so we're doing, this chair was in here before and we don't really have another place to put it, so I kind of want to keep it in here. So we're going to do mustard color, incorporate mustard color along with these, um, they almost look like burgundy, but it's actually pink. So those are the colors I'm kind of doing with this. And 
the curtains I got from Target I thought were mustard they looked like mustard online and when they came in the mail they were yellow so I'm not um, I don't think I'm gonna return them because I, they're in like the colors are so off it's gonna look terrible so I think I'll just keep the tan curtains I have now because I've been looking all over and I haven't found curtains that I like so the ones I have will match with it just fine I would like to get different ones but moving on so being a little farm girl she had to have some overalls so I got her some pink Carhartt overalls which are just so cute so cute I always wanted to get pink Carhartt overalls so I finally get two because we have overalls in every single size because the boys like they're just cute honestly boys or girls are just super cute in overalls but overalls are just so adorable so I had to get those when I saw them and it's really hard to find them in three months in our town so I found them in three months and I was like oh, perfect okay so moving on I will do this one first so I got this is off of Amazon and since she's a summer baby she had to have a swimsuit even though she probably will not be going swimming but I just couldn't resist like look at how cute this is and then it came with a matching bow so this is super cute on Amazon I think it was like $15 I'm not too sure it's between this one or a cute little like blue floral bikini but this one I just thought it was so cute and then it has the matching headband with it so I had to get that because we are planning on going camping this summer if we can I guess I don't want we can at least go to a lake lot for people we know but like I don't know if we can actually go camping camping because I think they might be closed because of this virus I am not too sure but you know what we'll figure it out that's for sure so then I got this off of Amazon as well and I got this for the hospital so it's just a gown that you tie on the bottom and it's like a light pink and it came with the matching bow or really it's not even a bow it's the like ribbon that you have to tie into a bow yourself which I should YouTube how to do that because <laughs> I guess I've never had a tie bows before but I had this on Amazon it was like ten dollars it looks kind of big but I think it should be okay because you just tie the bottom and they're supposed to be kind of big so I got that and then she'll probably only ever wear it in the hospital because I am not a gown person. I am, I just like, gowns don't work with a mamaroo, like if you're going to buckle them in, which I always do. So you can't buckle them in to the mamaroo with a gown on. It just, to me, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just, I would rather have like actual pants on or something rather than the tie bottoms. I don't know. So this is actually, um, I bought these off of Amazon just because I was ordering a bunch of stuff off of there and it made it a little easier. But these are from, let me double check, I'm pretty sure they're from Carousel Design. These are from Carol's Carousel Design. This is the crib sheet and the changing table sheet. I'll show you the changing table sheet because it's smaller. <laughs> But this is the pattern that I'm going. So this is the only floral thing that I actually have for the room. And this is the pattern. So this looks like almost a burgundy. But it's actually a pink. Like when you see it in person, you, you probably, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera or not. But this is actually like a pink. Because I thought it was burgundy when I bought them. But 
I'll show you the other side too. So this is the other side. So that's why I'm kind of incorporating the mustard with it because I feel like it will look good. You can see the mustard. So I have these. So the, I guess you would say this nursery is going to be more boho. Okay. So moving on. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so... I got these hats from Target. So this one, this one is $9.99. And it just looks like that. Just simple sun hats. Figured since she's going to be a summer baby, we do need some hats. And I only have one smaller hat, and it's a boy hat. It's blue with, there's like a print on it. I can't remember what the print is, but it's like 100% a boy hat. And then I got this newborn bonnet from Target, which was $8. I mean, bonnets are probably not going to really block the sun, but it was really cute. So hopefully it'll at least help with the sun slightly. <laughs> And then I did get this 4th of July outfit from Target. So this is what the top looks like. So you can see there's little stars. So like that. It's just so little. And this is the skirt that it comes with. Just a little like red tutu. So I did get this for the 4th of July. Because she should be in newborn clothes by then. Unless she's a huge chunky baby. <laughs> and then um, I bought my sister and I matching uh, girl clothes. Because her she's having a girl and her due date is nine days before mine. So I got them these matching jeans. Which are just like basic jeans from Target. And then this cute little shirt. It's like a minty color. It's so adorable. They had them on sale for like four bucks on tar at Target. So I got those. And then I found these really cute jeans at Target. So the bottom, I'll have to show you, is a cute little fringe. If you can see that. It's so cute. And the cute little pockets on the back. So I had to get these. And then I don't think I've showed this to you guys yet. I got it off of Etsy. And you hook it to your um, car seat. And it just says, stop. Your germs are too big for me. Please look, don't touch. Mommy, mommy thanks you very much. And it's actually on both sides. And it's a pretty thick plastic. I might have showed this. I cannot remember 100% honestly. So I got one of those for myself and for my sister. And I'm excited to put it on the car seat. Especially just with all of this that's going on with this virus and whatnot. So that's just going to be really nice to have. And then the last thing I'll probably show you today is... The coming home outfit I bought. I got it off of Etsy. So it just says little sister. So it's a little sister onesie. And then these cute little pants. I thought these pants were so, so, so cute. So we have that. And I bought a bunch of bows on Amazon. So Amazon has really cheap bows if you're ever looking for them. They have, it's like 10 packs for 10 to $15, which is pretty reasonable. So I got three of those packs. And this bow matched perfectly with this coming home outfit. So that's what I will use with this. So that's everything. I can show you the bows that I bought because I bought 30 of them off of Amazon which I know is crazy it is a lot but when they're so cheap it's kind of like why not so I bought those and then um 
I do have, I could quick show you these too. So this, these are going to be part of um, the nursery. I don't know if I am the only one that puts pillows in the crib for decoration. Clearly not when they're in there, but just for decoration. I always have like decorative pillows in it. I don't know if that's normal. All my kids have them. But this is one of the pillows that I got. So it is like a mustard and I got it from Target. And then it has these cute little tassels in the corners. So this is one that's for the crib. And then, so this is the other pillow that goes inside the crib. It's really cute. This is what it looks like. And it has little tassels on the end. This is also from Target. I'm not sure how much these were. Probably 20, maybe $25 a piece. I don't know. They were the price of what a normal pillow is. So I will quick show you guys the bows that I bought. They're in her closet. So these are all the bows that I bought. These clearly came in a pack of 10. And then just these. I do have a lot of bows. And I made this rack for it and then I hung it in the closet. I almost forgot about these, so I bought this for it. The nursery, which is just an end table, so the bottom is gold. And then this lamp. And I'm going to replace this lamp and this because we're not doing a cow theme anymore. So that is everything in this girl haul, I guess, baby girl haul, because it wasn't all just clothes. Um, so when you see this video, I will be 31 weeks, so I'm getting really close to the end, which is super exciting. I should quick show you guys my 31 week bump. So this is 31 weeks with little girl. I am pretty low, like she is pretty low and I have only gained, I think, seven pounds, which is really nice. So hopefully I don't gain too much more because, I don't know, it's kind of nice to not gain a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I will be posting more videos like this in the future. I still have some clothes coming in from a boutique called... Lenny Lemons and I have clothes coming in from um, a place online called Pat Pat. Pat Pat has really reasonable clothes like outfits for $10 to $12 for outfits so it's really really reasonable. Uh, so I could do a haul on that to just like show you guys how great quality the clothes are or if they're not great quality. We do, I do have some bigger clothes from there that my mom bought and they actually are pretty good quality for the price, truthfully. So I'll, you have to watch out for that whenever I get them in the mail, but definitely subscribe to my channel. I will have more baby stuff coming up and then you will get to see when this little baby girl is born. So definitely subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!